Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Bayonetta. Alright, it has been like a little while since recording the first episode. So if you guys are still around since the first one, thank you so much for giving this Let's Play another chance. Or, you know, another chance, like, throughout another video, I mean to say. <laughs> I don't mean you guys gave up on it after part one. <laughs> I said, oh, we'll give it a chance after, you know, the second episode missing nothing. <laughs> That'll be a weird way to go about it. Anyway, let's on to chapter one, The Angel's Metropolis. You know, the first chapter in the second video, which I guess makes sense because the prologue can be its own chapter. Without being a chapter. It's just like the loading screens from Assassin's Creed or something. So, I asked around and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. You talk to whales? It the right eye. Saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone, but not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my trouble. Right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Vigley. Could at least get the lights on the whole time and not make it so suspicious. But it's not often I get to ride a train, now is it? <laughs> Welcome to Vigrid, and there's a lot of benches. So yeah, you can destroy them for getting some goods as well, including halos. Including other items. The Unicorn Horn. Cured via crystallization, Unicorn Horn is a concocting compound used by witches. It is useless by itself. And you can also get Mandragora Root. So yeah, there's like three different items that are like for concocting items. Baked Gecko is the third one. In fact, if you press minus, you can go to your weapons menu, and you can go to your items. Of course, I do have a healing item right here, so what I should do... I'm gonna set it to up on the D-pad, and if I want to create items, I just have to go over here. And let's see, if I hit, um... I don't remember, like, where it is you get your recipes and stuff. 
But yeah, you do get recipes for items as well. Try to remember where it is you access it. Maybe you get it later, you know what I mean? But for now, you can go through all your files, which I guess gives you like lots of lore. Tome of Umber and Arts would be like your techniques and stuff. So that's a little something you can do as well. And some of these you can actually buy. But more on that later. For now, why don't we just like keep going? So there are like a hidden collectibles in each chapter as well. So keep that in mind. Purple butterflies will give you magical power. So it's a good idea to be on the lookout for those too. And one such collectible that can be found, believe it or not, requires you to go up the second floor. Like this, see? And weirdly enough, you gotta destroy all the benches on this entire second floor balcony. Some of the items you need to find in each chapter is very obscure. That you would not think to look there. A resident of Vigrid. It may be part of their religious doctrine, but everyone is wearing holy vestments. As long as I'm in Purgatorio, I won't be able to intervene in their affairs. But it also means I should be able to get around this place without their interference either. So there's its perks and its downfall. Perks, at least nobody will be able to see you, but you would hardly have anyone to talk to. So it might get a little lonely. But that's what happens when you're in Purgatorio. It's not meant to be enjoyed or hated. It's just... neither. <laughs> okay, there's a couple more benches. At least I'm getting more concocting items, too. Oh, there's these over here that I missed. At least they only drop in one kick. So it'll make things pretty fast. Oh, see? When you destroy the last one, the train will actually move. And I could go for a ride on the train. That got me, like, a lot of halos. And then you get this item called the Broken Moon Pearl. A piece of a moon pearl. Gathering two of these will increase the limit of your magical power. And make sure you're not a rabbit while in the dark world. Wait, what? <laughs> so yeah, you pretty much only had one shot to get on that train, so get on it while you can. Otherwise, you would have missed out on the uh, extra halos. Yeah. Of course, you can just redo these levels as many times as you want. So keep that in mind if you ever want to go back in case you miss something. Let me guess, I can't go through this door. It is sealed shut. The security system's activation has put the whole area on a state of alert. Well, ain't that shitty. The spear embedded in the wall is emitting a wondrous light and resonant sound. Getting closer to it makes it grow glow brighter. It's as if it has some sort of ability to respond to a witch's power built in. In other words, just keep hitting it. And then you'll be able to get through. Hold B to extend your jump duration. Press B again to execute a double jump. Yeah, I already know about that. Oh, but I need a key. Actually, there's a chest down here. These things are called witch's tombs. So you just beat them up to break them open. And there we got ourselves a key. And you can actually use the key as a weapon. Imagine that. Wow. Destroyed. Stick it in. <laughs> oh, look at that. A voyage towards the truth. Okay, so that's just some random intel. Why don't we take a look at it? 
I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I believe that communicating the truth is the core tenet of all journalism, chasing it until my legs turn to rubber and the truth is burned into my retinas. Yikes. But my journalistic career has hit an incredible wall, and I must confess that I have been crushed under the weight of the path I have traveled. It all began upon seeing upon the stone-chiseled history of the old European city of Vigrid, and past the deep scars time had left behind. The passing of history has always been overseen by a select few, and they have left memories of a time stained with blood. This fact is integral in understanding the big picture, but it also causes one to hesitate before becoming involved in such a dark history. Treading down this path, I believe so firmly and means I cannot afford to lose faith in my convictions. It may also mean that my life is put into jeopardy. However, I hold deep within my heart the hope that even after my soul has left this body, as long as these notes, my proof of being, are passed to the right man, future ages will also come to know the truth. They say that some things come at the cost of your life, but to me truth is my life. In this age filled with lies and deception, I forever pray that truth will shine its light on the path of righteousness. So there you go. I don't know how much of it's actually going to be pertinent to what you're doing in the game, but it could happen. It is a set of two crystal statues, but one is in pieces. It has been destroyed in an unnatural manner, as if in a fit of rage powered by a deeply held grudge. And I can't get through unless... I use the Wicked Weave Technique. Uses your hair as a conduit to summon for demonic entities. Connect these techniques to punch or kick combos for a devastating finish. Oh, of course, the very first hit gets me again. I mean, that's what happens when an enemy starts to attack you just as soon as the fight starts. And <laughs> they can hit you even in punish. What the hell? Nope. Won't let ya. Got your asses. And that should break the barrier. Come on, I fixed the statue too. Okay, so in order for me to get across, I actually have to do something with these statues. Lumen Sage and Umber Witch. When their powers meet in a test of strength, the lightning released will be your test. If you wish to walk upon water, prove your mettle by dodging the lightning in a single hair's breadth. that, see? And use which time to run across the water. Oh, and I picked up a green laurel that gives me extra health. There, now I can use that as a lift. Now, if you want to get a certain item, you're actually supposed to leave this area. See what I mean? By certain items and collectibles being cryptic, how would you know to go back during this specific time? There's this hidden portal now. It's called an Alfheim. And Alfheims are essentially like a challenge rooms. Therefore, you have to fulfill certain conditions in battle to beat them. Use Witch Time. Defeat all the angels before time expires. Enemies can defeat it during Witch Time. In other words, only during Witch Time. Well, I bunged that up right away. So in other words, I have to wait for enemies to recover and hit me so that I can hit them. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, finally. That's a pretty bad go. Okay, 
Okay, so I think there's like a few enemies per wave. Oh, nice! I didn't even see that guy behind me. Like, you really have to, like, master the timing to get through this. Wow, it didn't look like that hit was anywhere near me, but somehow it worked. I just keep kicking in the ass and then bring it to the guillotine. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh shit! Are you kidding me? I thought I dodged the. I died. Well, at least I get to try again as many times as I want. But yeah, you really have to be good at the timing to beat this. Are you kidding me? I did it too early again. Well, the good news is you can do this for projectiles, too. Okay, that one's dead, too. Come on. Are you not gonna do it? Do it! See, like, in normal difficulty... It would be a pain in the ass because you have to wait so long for them to even attack you at all. Higher difficulties, they attack you more frequently, and therefore you have more time to do it. That was too... That was too early? Are you serious? Oh, I think it gave me a prompt for a torture attack, but it wore off. What? Oh, I guess, like, the green diamonds is actually my health. That's how many times I can get hit before it's considered a fail. Oh, yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Shit, that was too early. That was too late. Come on, I gotta get it just right eventually. Like that, see? That beat him. What? Oh, I don't have much time left. Oh, now they're not even going to act. Yeah, I may not make this, because the other one has been hit once. Yeah, it just waited. Oh, when I practice this, I did this on the first try. Save my torture attack for a tougher enemy. Or at least a fresh one. Oh, 
Okay, this is actually going a lot better now for a change. Now it's just you for this round. Oh my god, finally. I'm catching a break. Oh, why did that wind up take so long? Come on, do something. It's just you. I think I might actually win this for once. What? What? Oh, thank God that attack travels. Could you imagine if it didn't? Oh, now it won't get up. Took you long enough. I missed. That was unbelievable. You have no idea how many tries that took. Yeah, it was that bad. There, I got another broken moon pearl. So that actually increases my magical limit. Holy shit, talking mushrooms. Could you imagine if I had, like, all of this in the episode? Chapter 1 would take forever to finish. Let me see, how long have I been recording this? Oh my god, like, 39 minutes! And I'm pretty sure I started this at, what, the 9 minute or the 10 minute mark? Yeah, it was that bad. <laughs> Alright, so with that done, we can actually just head back. Oh, right, I need this again. <laughs> I like how they still tell you that tutorial. You know, even though you've already done it. And the reason why you had to walk back right away, because as soon as you get up here, you can't go back down. You want to be unable to power this device. That is true. <laughs> okay, just beat up some random pots. Get some halos, because I could really, uh, release some steam. After that Alfheim challenge. <coughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm still gonna be thinking about that for a long time. And I bet y'all struggle a lot less than the other ones. I would not be surprised. Oh, wait a minute. There's a different kind of portal over here. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. <laughs> These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. 
Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> Alright, so I can go to the gates of hell if I want to buy some things. That may not be a bad idea. Although I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. What I will worry about, on the other hand, is it looks like there is an item nearby. I'm trying to remember where it is. In fact... I think I see it right there. There it is. A broken witch heart. Gather four of these to increase your uh, max health. So great to have as many of those as you can. Obviously. Not that it would have helped me in that trial, but you know. I think I can go that way if I want to go to the gates of hell. But it looks like I'm supposed to go this way. Like right over here. Nope, this is the wrong way. Oops. God, there's like a little hallway with only like two paths to go and I choose wrong. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's actually down here. Oh, there's another book. I can take a look at that. The Vigrid Central Station. The Crystal Witch and Sage. Within Vigrid City, there are great, a great many structures built long ago by two clans, the Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages. Amongst them, all have a sun and moon duality, evidence of a peculiar outlook towards the universe. The Witches representing the moon and the Sages representing the sun, Burn into the fabric of the city in various ways. One of these structures, a pair of statues crafted from a high quality crystal known as a Beltastan Crystalos, featured both a witch and a sage. The statues appeared to hold some sort of special significance. According to ancient records, they were created to aid in the training of the art of overseeing time, a skill only the two clans were capable of practicing. That also served as the key to locking something away from public view should the clans feel the need for secrecy. However, the exact details of this art are unknown. Now the city, scarred by the tragic witch hunts of the past, has seen many of the statues depicting witches destroyed or heavily defaced. Even these beautiful crystal statues were unable to escape the calamitous fighting. Oh yeah, they've had their own witch problems too. Sad but true. Oh, wait a minute. Sometimes you'll find these uh, crows with like umbran tears of blood. So it'll be a good idea to collect those too, because the more you have, I think the more stuff you can unlock. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a really nice looking fountain, not gonna lie. Ooh, let me read this. It seems the park attached to the station also has a long history. It is actually the ruins of a religious site. Well, how about that? <laughs> you learn something new every day. Okay, anything around here that I can grab? There's a pot. Oh! Arcade bullet! Oh, that was that uh, Angel Attack arcade game. I managed to find one of those. And another witch's tomb, which has another broken witch heart. All right, so I need to find two more and I'll get a health upgrade. I like that. What? Oh, this doesn't remind me of, of Okami at all.
Applied. <laughs> Applied this, douche nozzle. Well, at least I don't have to worry about only using Witch Time in this fight. Wait, are they actually popping from the ground? If I could use like L3 to throw away weapons, why would I do that? Oh, said press Y to equip it. Oh, that's probably just when it's on the ground. Oh, great eggs. Nope. Are those eggs trying to take a bite out of me? Can you don't? I do not consent to be bit. Yet. Definitely not by, uh, angels. Or eggs. How would you like to die now? Too bad. You're gonna have to. Oh, another applaud. I knew they couldn't resist coming back. Oh yeah, I just kicked him right into everything. I love that. Are we done? I guess not. Look at the size of that jerk. Beloved. Okay, you can see their weak spot on their back. Well, the, the good news is, these guys are pretty easy to predict when they're going to attack. Ooh. He's gonna try to grab from behind. Who knew? I guess he didn't like his weak spot being touched. He's almost down. Got him! That's what you call a bad hair day. All that for a music album. Eh, oh, in progress too, I guess. Sure, I'll let me take this big ass axe. Trois Marche Militaire. A golden LP featuring the crystallized voices of angels. Some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, at least we got that now. So I guess we can only just go in here? Oh, wait a minute. Another broken witch heart. I'd be lucky if I could find another one on this stage. But if not, at least I'll still retain the, uh, the three that I have.
Get your asses out of here. Oh, don't think it could get away from me, huh? How about that? Okay, I guess I can only shoot. It's too far away for melee. Look at the size of this guy. At least the fireballs are pretty easy to dodge because you're not so close to them. I guess I can just go ahead and just keep shooting, keep dodging, keep shooting again. Because if I keep up this rhythm, I can't get hit once. Man, this guy better get a good dental plan after this. Think how many bullets went to his teeth. Never mind that jewel on its head. Is it gonna fire another one? No, that's actually my bullets. Never mind. <laughs> I just can't get close enough to hit him through melee. That's a damn shame. Would have liked if I could. Whoo! Thought I hit that one a bit too late. Finally! I guess we're, we're done. That was a weird flashback. <laughs> it's almost as if I would have felt it. Oh, I got a pure platinum medal. Wow. That was a uh, pretty damn good. Ooh, another one of these. A witch's brew. I discovered the existence of something called alchemy. It is the deconstruction, combination, and reconstruction of everything. Metal, flesh, even spirit. If one understands the logic of the age, alchemy is a prime example of the era in which it was developed. Although lesser known as is the fact that alchemy is an offshoot of the witch's secret art of concoction. Concoction was only practiced by the Umber Witch Clan and the materials, amounts, and methods used were never shared outside the clan's inner circle. However, in the chaos of the witch hunts, some details were said to have slipped out, including knowledge of the primary mixing compounds, baked gecko, unicorn horn, and mandragora root. Also hidden was their role in controlling defense, offense, and vitality. It has been discovered that correctly combining these items may result in the creation of various useful compounds. These materials are obviously no longer in existence, and even if they still existed, outside of being a member of the Witch Clan, one would have to take out a contract with the Dweller of the Netherworld to obtain these rare items. In case of emergency, the Witches place these materials within Purgatorio, a realm caught in between the Trinity of Realities, in which the items are said to still remain. When creating a concoction, the correct procedures, amounts, and combinations are absolutely essential, and the art is not for the inexperienced. In fact, now when you're in concocting compounds, you have the recipe for all these items. Okay, so say if I wanted to make another um, healing item, for instance. Oh! God damn it, I was supposed to hit the right analog stick. There, I made a green herb lollipop. Okay, so if I want to, like, make me something that gives me more offense, or I think it's defense, I should probably make something with this. The 
Bloody Rose Lollipop. Well, raise one's attack power. Let me set it to left. There we go. And you know what? We should go to the gates of hell now. And you should do this every time you pick up one of those gold LP albums. And the reason why you do that is it gets you new weapons. Some of hell's ugliest. One note hits their ears, and a damn who's who of inferno comes pouring out of the inner circles. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, you give me that record, and I'll order up something so fiendish angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop down to the tropics for a bit. So take a load off. We get some new guns, the Onyx Roses. This symbol graces only the hottest of the hot items in my shop. If you're not sure what to go after, look for a face you can trust, of course. And you get alternate versions of the Onyx Roses, which of course we can't afford. As for accessories, yeah, you need like a hundred thousand or even two hundred thousand to afford these. You can buy certain items for free. Any of these I want to buy? I think I'll get a red hot shot. Ooh, and I could get a witch heart automatically. I think that's worth a halo. That actually gives me like a full unit of health. Along with like the broken ones I still have. So there you go. That will make your life a little bit easier. Not that much easier, but hey, the more we find, the better. Uh-oh. You again? Okay, at least I can hit this guy with melee. Okay, I should not be standing on that when it hits, like, the ceiling. Okay, but at least he's not too strong. It just can really disorient you with all the movement. Oh, you had to jump! It's a quick time event! You'll see a few of those. Oh boy. I think I need to go now. Cause those stairs are crumbling. God, this guy just will not let up. I don't know what's so beloved about you. At least he's pretty easy to witch time because he's got like a hulking set of arms. How did that hit me? I thought I was dodging. 
Oh, looks like I had a bit of a time limit. Because he was taking that platform. Nope, you can't touch. Nice, got the max. Oh, Devawa. You done. <laughs> you done, son. Sometimes I will like miss some verses. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh wow, I actually got a gold award. I was not expecting gold. <laughs> Only took 38 minutes and 25 seconds of game time. I don't think it counted with the uh, Alfheim. <laughs> that would have taken like maybe 38 days. Could have gotten a little bit better. I got 40 points. A blue witch heart. Oh, these are only for available for the next chapter. Well, in that case, I'll probably have to pass. I might buy a magic flute, though. Just in case. It's not like I have to use the items as soon as I buy them. Alright, so now we have opened Chapter 2. Vigrid, City of Deja Vu. Why don't we save? Because we could really use it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop the video right here because this part is... How long? Over an hour? Uh, it probably won't be an hour in post. But yeah, stay tuned for the next episode where we do Chapter 2. See everyone, thanks for watching.